Unfortunately, most adults have wall-to-wall -wall silver fillings already, and they've already been mutilated by big rotary instruments. If you use the drill, the drill will cut anything its way. If the patient moves, the drill is going to cut away a little bit of enamel that you didn't plan on. The first time you touch a tooth with a high-speed drill, you can dim that tooth to a lifetime of care. There was the cycle and it was filling, 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 crown, root canal, new crown, new root canal. If you catch it early and instead of using a drill, you use a micro sandblaster, which is called microabrasion, then you can do a restoration that will last a lifetime. Micro sandblasting is really good in dentistry. It's a good tool, it's good for people because you can do minimally invasive dentistry with it. The, the doctors that are involved in this are concerned about saving tooth structure and I think that's an ethical issue. Dentistry, it's a kind of profession where you have to live and grow and learn. What we really believe is that at least 10 percent of the dentists are, are progressive enough to want to be trained. They just need to know that this is available. We should be continual students. I mean that's what G.B. Black said you know, over a hundred years ago, that we have nothing less than to be a continual student. And that's what dentists should be doing. The thing about advanced dentistry is to try to find things early. If you don't find things early, it gets more difficult to treat. Early diagnosis, early intervention is the only way to go, and air abrasion is key for that kind of a process.